I'm a dad, and here are my thoughts on bullying. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to do that. In middle school, I was bullied a lot, but there was one time I stood up to a bully at lunch. He poured milk in my hair, and I had lost it. I flipped him over the bench that we were sitting on, and I started hitting him with his own shoe. I was on top of the world, but was I really? Did I do the right thing? I stood my ground against a bully, but what was really going on here? Bullying's a normal thing. People get bullied every day. People get bullied as adults, not just kids. There's more to bullying than meets the eye. There's always something happening in the background. And if you're a bully, you know what I'm talking about. And if you're being bullied, just so you know, that bully's probably having a shit life. Took me a while to navigate it, but I crush all the bullies in my life now, and I don't actually have to resort to fighting anymore. Now, before I get into this topic all the way, I want you to know right now that this channel is more than about bullying. So if you want to live a better life and stop living the chub life and live a fit life, then keep listening to our stories, subscribe, and finish the rest of this video. So let's jump back into middle school. The first time I really had to defend myself against a bully was when I was in this art class. Yes, I went to an art middle school. I was very nerdy. I wore a bunch of anime stuff. I wore a jacket every single day. And I lived in Florida. We're talking 90 degrees. And I was wearing a jacket and jeans every single day. And I was wearing it because I had man titties. I was 285 pounds and kids loved to make fun of me for it. Yes, I had cool hair and it was really curly and my nickname was Fuzzy, but people would come up to me and they would scoop me. Have you ever been scooped before? That shit sucks. And honestly, it hurt on the inside. I was sad every day. I was really depressed and I didn't have any good self-esteem. I thought I was a loser. People would make fun of me about all the anime I would have. I'd put it on my bag and whatnot. Even my friends that liked anime. It was very interesting, the dynamic. Whereas now I know it's a little more mainstream, but Back in my day, it wasn't as mainstream. And there was the one day that I was in my art class and, and there were these kids that, I don't know, they probably had some shit going on in their life or maybe they just grew up on a tough street or something, but they were just making fun of me a lot in class, talking about how fat I was, drawing pictures of me being fat and obese with titties and whatnot. And I went up to the art teacher and I told her, hey, I'm being bullied right now and these kids are bullying me. And I, st I started standing up for myself in this classroom. I told them they need to leave me alone. And they literally stood up in front of me and said, you better wait till after class because we're going to jump your ass. So I went back to the teacher again after class and I told her, hey, these kids are going to jump me after class. They've been bullying me all class and they're going to now beat me up. And she was just like, oh, it's OK. It's whatever. So honestly, I know the kids that go through bullying and you tell your teachers and they do nothing about it. I'm sorry for you. But it's the reality that some adults just don't take it seriously because they grew up in a harder time. And so I took matters in my own hand and I told her, I am going to fight these kids with all of my power and make sure that they don't beat me up. I do not recommend any kid do this because violence is not the answer. And I'll get more into that. But I had to go outside of the classroom. I came outside prepared to fight and I stood my ground and they let me walk by. They did not fight me because they saw how serious I was. But I had to stand my ground so these kids wouldn't beat me up. I know that some kids out there that are being bullied in school and it might be getting physical at times, just stand your ground. You might get beat up as well. But from being a dad, honestly, you have to learn how to stand up for yourself. Standing your ground does not mean you have to physically fight. There are way better ways than doing that. And I learned that all through the fact that I learned how to fight. After I got out of middle school and I dealt with the bullies that I dealt with, I realized I needed to get stronger. So I joined a fighting gym and then I also started a fight club at my school. The main reason for the fight club at school was because when I was at the fighting gym, I learned that fighting <laughs> sucks. It hurts. It hurts the other person and it hurts you. No one is a winner at the end. You're both in pain and maybe now you have a vendetta against the next person and you're just going to keep on fighting. It's just like war. There's reasons for war, but at the same time, all it does is create more resentment from the other side that got beat. So when it comes to a bully, I learned that as long as you know how to defend yourself, you can protect yourself from a physical danger. So I started a fight club to help all the other kids in the art program that I was in to learn how to fight, to learn that fighting is a last resort, to learn that fighting hurts and that yes, you have power, you have power, but that power is also hurting another person and you don't like how it feels. So why do you think they're going to like how it feels? So when it comes to dealing with a bully, I truly learned that talking is the best route that understanding what they're going through is the best route. You see, when someone is bullying, they're not bullying because they love it. I mean, there are some people that do, but the reason why they love it is because they were treated bad. 
someone in their life is treating them bad. So when you see someone that's being mean to you, especially when you're a kid, just understand they're going through something hard too. That maybe you guys can be friends. I mean, honestly, as a boy, we get into fights with our best friends and then we become best friends with them even more. So going back to my first story, and when I flipped over a kid and he poured milk on my head, well, this kid was a bully, but at the same time, he was being bullied. So we were at lunch and he had reached his tipping point and I think he felt like he was being big and tough and picking on me. But I had already been bullied by so many other people and I had to stand my ground. So when I flipped him and I started attacking him, I had to rein it in because I had been in more fights than this kid. You see, yes, I was bullied in middle school, but no one knew how I grew up. No one knew that in my neighborhood we were fighting every single day, that we had other kids that had really bad lives, that were treating me and my friends bad, and so we would fight with each other. And at the same time, we were all still friends. So when it came to this guy at school and I physically wanted to beat him up because I was standing my ground in middle school, I realized that what I was doing was wrong. While I was about to beat his ass, I realized that there's something happening in his life and I don't need to do this. And as he coaxed me to fight him more, I calmed myself down. I had to breathe. The police officer came. We all went to the principal's office and that's when the true colors came out. The bully expressed to the principal and officer how much he had been being bullied in school and at the same time how much he feared for his life in school every day and that he thought I was a threat. No matter if it was a sham or not, I realized that day that bullies are weak. They are truly weak. And a person that uses violence instead of their brain to get through a situation isn't really that strong. All these MMA fighters, all these boxers, all these wrestlers, and everyone that uses their physical body knows that once you learn how to fight, once you learn how to inflict pain on another person, that your body is a weapon and you need to be responsible with it. The people that are bullies usually have never learned that. And they think that they're just throwing their weight around and they can get whatever they want because life has already taken everything from them. Maybe their parents are beating them. Maybe they're poor and they don't have enough money for food and they've been starving. Or maybe they live on the streets. Maybe they live in homeless shelters. Maybe they're kids that live in foster homes and the foster home isn't amazing. Maybe those foster home parents are mean. No matter what, people are mean for a reason. And if you can empathize with them on why they're being mean, you can come to a resolution. Now I can go on about endless stories of how I've been bullied or how many fights I've been in. Even in other countries, and trust me, people in other countries are way more aggressive than here in America. But that's not the point in this video. The point of this video is to understand that there's more to life than having hatred towards other people, than really letting that bully be in charge. And the last story I'm going to tell you here is for adults. And at the same time, it's for the young kids to understand that this doesn't stop. Bullying never stops. It will go all the way until you're 80. But you need to know how to navigate it. So I was working a job. And it was a new job. And I was in a warehouse. And I was like, okay, I'm going to be around a little more tough people. And the first day on the job, they paired me up with this individual. This individual was older. And he was a little more old-minded. So when I get there... He was like, this is how you do this. 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 You need to do it like this. You need to do it like this. We go do this. We go do this. But he wasn't explaining anything. He was just telling me what to do. I'm like, okay, cool. And when I messed up on something, he would yell at me. He would freak out and start yelling. And here I am, a 27-year-old adult who runs a business with his brother and is already ready to start another business. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, why is this guy yelling at me? And I start laughing. And he gets more mad and he's angry. And I'm like, there's something about this dude. I get home that night and I talk to my girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife and my brother. And I'm like, I hate this dude. I'm going to lay it down on him. I'm going to make him feel like a piece of shit tomorrow. And they talk me out. And I was like, you're right. I'm becoming him. I'm letting him put his energy onto me. And so I went back to work the next day and I looked him in the face and I went up to this bully as an adult because we could have duked it out. One of us would have went to jail, but I went up to him as an adult. And I said, hey, I understand that yesterday I was making you upset, but I truly don't understand what's going on this job. And I just need a little more explanation from you. And I understand you explain a little differently. And yesterday I was laughing at you. Yes, but that's because I've grown up in a household where yelling was a constant thing. So what you were doing yesterday had no effect on me. I need you to teach me a different way. I need you to understand that you being aggressive is not going to work with me because I fought my whole life. And from that day on, 
he respected me more because I went up to him and I told him, I'm like, I can treat you like shit too. I've been through this before and I'm not going to stand here and let you do this to me. So from then on, he taught me more. He explained more. Yes, he got aggressive, but at the same time, we laughed about it. I was able to talk to him about it and we kept on growing. So just know that when you're a kid and you're being bullied, you need to learn how to stand your ground because if you do not, you're going to become an adult and these people are going to bully you even more. You're going to get into a job that you hate. You're going to get into an area where you feel like everybody in life is just mean. Maybe you're going to do something bad. Maybe you're going to go crazy and then you're like, man, I just need to kill everybody. That's not the answer. Violence is never the answer. The answer is understanding that we're all going through shit. The answer is being able to talk to each other. The answer is we are all here to work together. And if we're all doing this eye for an eye shit, then we're all going to be blind. That's why there's that quote. So if you're being bullied or you are a bully, I want you to seriously ask yourself, how would I want to be treated in this situation? Oh, and never forget, always ask for help. If you're a young kid, tell your parents. See what they advise you to do. If you're an adult, tell HR. See what they advise you to do. No matter what, just remember, we're all in this together.